Hi and welcome to another Tabitha's Glass Emporium video from Sunny Croatia. Today we are doing Halloween. It's a little early but I know you guys start early with these and if you want to get our products in time for Halloween we're going to sell them now. So we're looking at these which are kind of my take on Day of the Dead decorations for Halloween. These are made with using our vitrograph stringers, our new eyes and lips, heart noses and our flamework flowers to do a garland around the head and I think they work really well I'm so pleased how these came out we're selling um, we're selling a kit where you can buy the head the shape of the head 50 grams of stringers 15 flowers two eyes a nose and a mouth for 24 euros 50 um, excluding VAT which most of you don't pay VAT so that makes sense to you um, you'll need to choose your own Marini to go with it because that's very personal but at least you get the kind of basic kit. And we're doing it in three different colors. We're doing a blue, um, blue with blue hair. We're doing black hair with red and pink um, garland or black hair with red garland. But if you don't like any of those options and you can just order it and in comments at checkout, you can just say, I would like one with um, pink hair and pink flowers, or I'd like one with green hair and green flowers. And we can sort that out for you. So just make sure you put your kind of wish list in uh, in comments at checkout if you don't want the kind of standardised one that we have available on the website. Because really, you could go any which way. You could actually go, I want uh, blue hair with the green flowers, whichever you fancy. So have a look and check that out if you want to buy that kit. Um, if not, you can just buy the elements and make up as many as you want. Um, so I hope you'll enjoy this YouTube video and let me show you how it's done. So the first thing we did for this project is cut these sort of um, egg shaped, which are face shaped um, uh, pieces of white glass. And the bigger ones fit our XL eyes and lips and the smaller ones fit our standard eyes and lips. I've taken a screenshot of this on a mat so you can see the size and you can use it as a template if you want. So once you have your shape, you need our eye and lips marini. Now you can buy this in a, um, a mix pack and you get 10, well, 10 eyes and five lips. So enough to do five faces on it and uh, do that. And then we're using an Excel heart. Um, we've got candy or red hearts for the nose. Um, and then I'm putting marini around. Now I'm gonna use the bullseye um, glass tack gel glue. Um, love it, you can get that from most suppliers. I tend to put a blob on a bit of paper nearby um, and sort of blob, you know, in and out. Um, the thing I found is, is we're all, you know, put eyes up here. Eyes are pretty much nearly to the halfway down your face. So, um, and you want space for the hair and you want space for kind of things on the forehead. I'm putting my nose the wrong way up. It's an upside down heart. Um, you want that and you, because I'm then going to put Marini on, I am actually going to just put some just a bit of glue around and just do a bit of a splodge, splodge. Um, you know, and you can think about how do you want to position your eyes? Do you want them like this or like this or, you know, like this? But I'm going to go with kind of pretty much straight. Then you, um, I've got some nice glue around. Then I'm just chopped up some Marini and I'm going to put them around like, and go around the eyes like this with Marini. And I'm gonna do this and get you to come back to me when I'm done. So you can see a couple of different ideas for eyes. Um, on this one, we put sort of eyelashes all the way around. It's a fiddle, guys, gotta say, it's not easy. Um, again, my eyes might be a tiny bit high on this one. Um, you know, eyes sort of generally, uh, you know, proportionally when you wanna think where you want to put them. Um, and then this one, I've just literally put uh, the, you know, just Marini round. Um, then I want to put, I always kind of like having this crown at the top. Um, done, sorry, I'm gonna just go onto this little one. Done a little face here as well. They get really fiddly. Um, I've, it's hard to see the kind of little eyelashes. For, I've used hearts for noses here, but it sort of just seemed to make the face a bit more clowny on this one. So I've just literally just used a sort of small um, little bit of glass. Now, dead, dead skulls tend to also have um, kind of something on the forehead. So um, this is a new Marini, which is our starfish, which may not be on the website when this goes out. We will see. Um, and 
so I'm going to put a crown of, uh, of those on. Now, they still don't look much like Day of the Dead Skulls until I feel that you put the kind of um, uh, more sort of detail around the mouth. So we're going to do that. Um, I might do a little bit of filming explaining how I do it um, as sort of we get to it. I've also got to think of something for this forehead here, um, looking at the colours. Now, right now I can build it off the, off the um, kiln shelf. This is the kiln shelf. But when I start putting the hair on, I definitely need to be on the kiln shelf because some of the hair is going to kind of sit around the faces. Now, for me, I'm going to do this in two firings. I'm going to probably put the hair on, fire it, then put a hook on the back um, if I want to just, you know, have them kind of for, um, for hangers. But if I want to maybe, I might make a smaller one into a necklace, I'll, I'll glue a bale. But I'll also then, after the, I fire the hair, then put kind of flowers in the hair. I'm going to try one today where I put the hair on and flowers. But personally, I think it's a bit too risky with the kind of um, how the glass is and the fact that you're wobbling and you're trying to put flowers on top of hair that's kind of wobbly anyway. And also I might want to look at it and put some more hair on. But when we get to that stage, I'll show it. But I'm going to start by doing kind of some, like for me, I'm going to start by doing some scars around the mouth um, and we'll go from there. So I want to do the scars. I've measured a couple of bits and I know that they fit here, but I think for me, having done it before, I find it easier to put the small pieces on first and then balance the big piece on top. Um, this is kind of fiddly and I often find that the glue sticks the bit of stringer to the tweezers and using another bit of stringer, I can get it off and onto the face. Like so, it might be a bit small, but I'm gonna put the stringer on top because it's got a curve to it. I've got to make sure it's sitting the right way. Then I'm just going to put some little ones on the lips as well. It's going to be a little bit tricky. It's fine work, this guy's not, um, not something I'm always the best at. But I'll give it a go. I'm going to put those on and use this to spread them out a bit and put them where I want because this doesn't have any glue on it. I have to lift that up again. And sometimes it's moving the piece around to angle the as I said, it's tricky. I'm going to get you to lead me to it and hopefully in a minute I'll have it right. So we've now sort of decorated them. We've used stringers on the mouth and just put an extra few bits of marini on. Um, you could also use enamels. And so this is uh, how we're going to give a go with enamels. Our enamels are not working brilliantly because they're a bit dry, but um, I'm just going to give this a go. So there's another idea you could do it with enamels instead which is probably slightly less fiddly than doing it with stringers um i like we've done it with blue stringers and kind of done a blue theme on this one and then black here i'm getting miller to do the enamels because she has steadier hands than me so i think that looks great um so now we need to put some hair on so now you definitely need to be working on the um the kiln shelf to put the hair on now we i did a couple earlier that i had a go with and um i did this one with dark hair and this one with blonde hair and gotta say not loving the blonde look it looks a bit like a clown to me um, it looks a lot worse until i put the kind of flowers on top as the sort of flower crown that you traditionally see quite often on there the dead sort of um, women figures um 
with the bigger ones I've decided I'm going to do a tack fuse to tack fuse the hair on and then again as I said earlier put the flowers on afterwards so I'm not going to go with blonde hair on mine um because Miller's been doing these two and I'm doing these two and um we're just going to put some hair on and then see how it goes now the hair we're just using our vitrograph stringers um they sort of come in a shape like this And um, you can kind of break them off to, you know, as you can see here, you've sort of got a hair shape. And so I found that if I broke them off, I could get quite a nice sort of hair. And then I've just built them up. So it's, you know, um, some when they're longer and straighter, I've just put on like so. And I use a lot of glue just to hold it all in place um, to sort of get it on. And just building up in layers then quite often because these sort of tend to go either straight or whatever i might even use some short bits to get some sort of flicks out if i could just get my to pan over to this one um and to get these flicks out are actually quite short strings that i've just put in now they're going to be incredibly fragile when it's done i don't know they might just need to be kind of cut off a bit when they're done you need to build up enough of a layer of hair to get, you know, to get some strength behind the tack fuse. We're gonna do a light tack fuse on this, good and Neil guys, lots of layers. Um, but we'll just, you know, Miller and I are now gonna build up some hair on ours and um, we can see how they are and maybe have a look halfway through. So I find a lot of the stringers want to hang straight and actually to make the hair feel a bit more realistic and um, kind of, you know, less flat, is to try and get some that are, you know, coming out this way so a lot of this was coming straight and then as I said before I'm just sort of, you know just taking some shorter ones and just poking them in trying to poke them in with the I mean, tweezers but the stringer keeps flipping the wrong side it's determined it's determined it wants to go in I want to say a bad word people I'm not going to say a bad word so yeah you get my idea putting it in like that so you get a kind of flick outwards which makes the hair you know feel a bit more kind of natural i'm gonna have to cut that one off quite short and quite often you have to make them quite short to get that sort of um flick and then it's you can kind of build other ones that are going in on top to try and hold it all in place so i'll you know put some more on top like that which will help hold those ones in place so here they are all ready to go in the kiln. We put some more enamelling um, on this one as well. Miller's so good at it. And if it's something that you have some skills in, definitely you can do some really kind of pretty things. I think she's done a beautiful job here as well um, on that one. Um, I think these are kind of cool. I like the different hair colours. We went with blue and then a red hair colour and a pink on the one smaller one over here. Um, so they're going to go in the kiln now. I Just to show you, this one I'm trying with the flowers on in a kind of one um, a one fuse test. Personally, I think it's a bit risky. I think the flowers might slide, and uh, then I might end up with a result that I'm not thrilled about. So I'm you know happy with the other ones that will do a second firing to put the flowers on, and also with the bigger ones, particularly I want to put a hook um, a hook on behind so they can hang up, and probably the smaller ones too. But I quite like the idea of them as pendants. I think they could be quite fun. Um, so this will go in the kiln very slow and kneel. We've got lots of layers going on here. They've got to go back in again afterwards. So I would be doing a long, slow and kneel on this. So we'll put them in and see how they are. So here are these out of the kiln, looking good, I think. Um, I think this one worked, putting the flowers on. So you might want to try doing it in a one fuse. Um, fusing, I'm going to put it in again to get a hook on it. And I will put, set all these up with hooks on as well. And then I'm going to put a bit of fibre paper around the top of the heads to rest some flowers on. I think with this one, I'm going to kind of tidy up and take a bit of this um, hair off here. Because I think it'll make it easier to get the flowers on. Um, but I will first of all take a piece of glass and wedge it with a hook with a piece of fibre paper. And get that set up first. And I'll show you that. And then we can go from there. I'm obviously filming on my own today. It's Sunday, so um, I just have to bear with me as I film. So I put the hook on and I put some fibre paper around. Now I'm going to use my favourite gel glue just to put some gel around to try and hold the flowers on. 
and I'm going to I'm using our flame work flowers because I like the proportions of them with the size of the head so sort of, I could use Marini but and some of our larger Excel or other Marini but I wanted to try one of these with flame work flowers so I'm going to place these around um, not whilst I'm filming just to give myself two hands and better better look at it and um, once I've got them all in place I'll show you how they look so you can see how I've built up the flowers around there's quite a lot of fiber paper in there to hold them in place this is going to go on a very low low tack fuse to try and hold some of the shape of the flowers um, I've done the blue one over here which I love it with the blue flowers on top and then another one like this with kind of coloured flowers. I'm slightly restrained in the, um, restricted in the colour of flowers I've got as we, I don't have that many around at the moment. So now I'm trying to do the small one and actually I'm finding it pretty hard. It was easier doing the smaller one like this with the flowers on it already. I put a bit of fibre paper around as well on this to try and hold them up and I'm going to decorate this one and the purple one at the top and then we'll have a look. So here they are ready to go in the kiln. These two are done and the rest are looking fantastic. Um, I decided I was going to attack you something else here, but I've decided not to. So I've just ripped off the corner of the tin fire, save a bit. You know, when you're setting up on a kiln shelf, always try and use the least amount of material. Um, I think I probably could have put these tighter together a bit and I can cut this bit of thin fire off too. Um, so that I'm, you know, can always use that in some pendant projects later. Uh, and try and save a bit of material. So that's always worth thinking about when you're setting up a project for to go in the kiln. So this will go in. I'm going to do a 720 tack fuse for 10, 15 minutes. Um, and hopefully some of the shape in the flowers will stay so that they'll look fantastic like they're looking now. And you could also, if you wanted to at this point, add more hair. I'm not going to. I quite like the, the you know, this one's like slightly less. This one's got slightly more. But I like the feeling of the hair on them. So I'm going to leave them as they are. But... This would be the point where you could, from here, just add some more hair coming down in this area if you wanted. So here they are out of the kiln. I think they're looking great. I love how the, head, um, the flower garlands on their heads have come out. A little bit softer than maybe some of you might want to go, um, but it's, you know, personal taste. I think the eyes look freaky cool. Um, I love this sort of blue one as going for something a slightly different theme. Um, I love the eyelashes sort of around the edge. Uh, and I just think they're great. Um, so for the larger ones, as I said, we're selling a kit. You get the garland, um, so 15 flowers, 50 grams of stringers, two eyes and nose and lips. Um, in that you need to sort of choose your own Marini to go with it, because um, I know that's very personal. And as I say, if you want Pacific colours, so you don't want green str and blue stringers and blue garland, you actually want a green theme. If you put that in the comments at checkout, we can sort that out for you. So it's, we've got three options, a, a, a blue one, a black hair with pink and red, and a black hair with red. But if you want something different, just put it in the comments at checkout and we will sort that out for you. So I really hope you've liked this YouTube video. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with out there with this idea. And if you have, please subscribe.